C I E D N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 4 titled Math Magic Book 4 Textbook in Mathematics for class 4 Chapter 2 titled Long and Short from page number 13 to page number 22 Now let's listen to chapter 2 titled long and short page number 13 chapter 2 long and short how far apart are the dots here on page number 13 a diagram of two children has been given one is a boy and the other is a little girl looking at a green colored wall on this green colored wall there are different dots given in a jumbled pattern all the dots have been marked by writing an alphabet beside them guess the distance between any two dots how many centimeters is it now measure it with the help of a scale did you guess right Which two dots do you think are farthest from each other? Check your answer. Which two dots are nearest to each other? Check your answer. Children can play this game in pairs, making dots on a plain sheet and asking their partner to guess the distance. This can also be extended to estimating bigger distances on the floor. The border of this chapter should also be used as a scale page number 14 the shorter line akbar was a famous king he had a smart minister called birbal once akbar gave him a difficult question he drew a line on the floor akbar said <laughs> birbal here is a line make it shorter without a raising birbal replies now your line is shorter on page number 14 there are two lines drawn here one line has been made by akbar and the other line has been made by birbal by drawing a bigger line than akbar's lines birbal made akbar's line shorter without erasing it observe the picture and explain how birbal made akbar's line shorter now can you be as smart as birbal make his line shorter without erasing it just think is there any longest line try this make her right arm 1 cm longer than the left arm There is a picture given here on page number 14 of a tribal drawing. This drawing is of a girl. One hand of the girl has been drawn and the other is missing. You have to make her right arm 1 cm longer than the left arm. Draw a cup 1 cm shorter than this cup. There is a drawing of a cup made on page number 14. You have to draw another cup which is 1 cm shorter than the cup given here. Draw a broom half as long as this broom. There is a drawing of a broom given here on page number 14. You have to draw a broom half as long as the broom given here. draw another hair of double the length there is a picture of a face given here on page number 14 this face is of a man with a mustache and a specs the head of the man only has one hair you have to draw another hair which is double the length of the hair given here page number 15 How tall have you grown? Do you remember that in class 3 you measured your height? Do you think you have grown taller? 
How much? Dash in centimeters. Have your friends also grown taller? Find out and fill the table below. There is a table given here on page number fifteen. The different columns of this table are friend's name, last year's height in centimeters, this year's height in centimeters. How many centimeters have they grown? You have to fill the table given here. Jhumpa once read a list of the tallest people in the world. One of them was two seventy-two centimeter long. That is just double of Jhumpa's height. How tall is Jhumpa? Dash centimeters. There are two drawings given here on page number fifteen. One drawing is of Jhumpa. Who is saying? Wow, his height is exactly double my height. The other picture given here is of the tallest person in the world, whose height is two seventy-two centimeters. Imagine, could that person pass through the door of your classroom without bending? Will his head touch the roof of your house? If he stands straight, the long and short of your family. Who is the tallest in your family? Dash. Who is the shortest in your family? Dash. What is the difference between their heights? Dash. Page number sixteen. Inter school sports meet. Race. This is a one hundred meter race for girls. Arundhati is nearest to the finishing line. She is about six meters from it. Behind her is Rehana. Kunkana and Uma are running behind Rehana. Observe the picture. To answer the questions given here, choose from these distances. Three meters. Six meters, ten meters, and fifteen meters. Here on page number sixteen, there is a picture of a hundred meter race given. In this picture, four girls are running. The first one is Arundhati, the second one is Rehana, and the third and fourth one are Konkana and Uma. A. How far is Rehana from Arundhati? Dash. B. How far ahead is Rehana from Konkana and Uma? Dash. C. How far are Konkana and Uma from the finishing line? Dash. Have you heard about a fifteen hundred meter or three thousand meter race? You remember that one thousand meters make one kilometer and five hundred meters make half a kilometer. So you can say, in a fifteen hundred meters race, people run dash kilometer. In a three thousand meters race, people run dash kilometers. Page number seventeen. Have you heard about marathon races in which people have to run about forty kilometers? People run marathons on roads because the track of a stadium is only four hundred meters. Ten rounds of a stadium track equals dash kilometer. So, if you run a marathon on a stadium track, you will have to complete dash rounds. Long jump. This is the long jump for boys. Here on page number seventeen, there is a picture given. In this picture, five kids are playing long jump for boys. Dhanu has the longest jump of three meters forty centimeters. Gurjeet is second. His jump is twenty centimeter less than Dhanu's. Gopi comes third. His jump is only five centimeter less than Gurjeet's jump. How long are Gurjeet's and Gopi's jumps? Dash. Try and observe 
How far you can jump? How far can you throw a ball? Dash meters. Take a big ball like a football or volleyball. How far can you kick it? Dash. Page number eighteen. Here are the Indian records and world records for some jumps. There is a table given here on page number eighteen. The table has three columns in it. The first column is highlighting the sports. The second column has the world record of that sport. The third column shows the Indian record for the same sport. The first sport given here is high jump in men. The world record is Javier S, two meters forty-five centimeters. And the Indian record is Chandrapal, two meters seventeen centimeters. The second sport in the sports column is long jump for men. World record made by Mike P, eight meter and ninety five centimeters, and Indian record made by Amrit Pal, eight meters and eight centimeters. The next sport given in the sports column is. High jump by women. The world record given here is by Stefka K, two meters nine centimeters. The Indian record has been made by Bobby A, one meter ninety one centimeters. Fourth and the last sport is long jump for women. World record made by Galena C. Seven meters and fifty-two centimeters, and Indian record made by Anju G. Six meters and eighty-three centimeters. Find out from the table. One, how many centimeters more should Chandrapal jump to equal the men's world record for high jump? Two. How many centimeters higher should Bobby A jump to reach two meters? Remember that one meter equals hundred centimeters, and half a meter equals what? Three. Galena's long jump is nearly a seven meters, b seven and a half meters, c eight meters. Four. Observe the women's world records. What is the difference between the longest jump? And the highest jump. Five. If Mike P could jump dash centimeters longer, his jump would be full nine meters. Six. Whose high jump is very close to two and a half meters? A. Stefka K. B. Chandrapal. C. Javier S. D. Bobby A. Page number. Nineteen. Running exercise. The doctor has told Devi Prasad to run two kilometers every day to stay fit. He took one round of this field. How far did he run? There is a picture drawn here on page number nineteen. This picture is of a square-shaped field. The four sides of this square-shaped field. Have been measured as five hundred meters each. The field was very far from his home, so he chose a park nearby. The boundary of the park was about four hundred meters long. There is a small drawing of a green circle given here. This drawing is for a park. The boundary of the park is about four hundred meters long. How many rounds of the park must Devi Prasad run to complete two kilometers? One day the weather was very good and a cool breeze was blowing. He felt so good that he kept jogging till he got tired after eight rounds. That day he ran dash kilometers and dash meters. How many rooms high? The Qutub Minar is seventy-two meters high. About how many meters high is your classroom? 
guess how many rooms one on top of the other will be equal to the Qutub Minar. Dash, explain how you made a guess. There is a picture given here on page number 19 of the famous Qutub Minar. Page number 20 from Kori Code to Thalasheri. Subodh is going to Kori Code, which is 24 kilometers km away. Manjani is going to Thalasheri, which is 46 kilometers away in the opposite direction. How far is Kori Code from Thalasheri? Dash. Here on page number 20, a picture has been given. In this picture, Subodh and Manjani are going to different directions. One is going to Kodikod, 24 kilometers, and the other one is going to Talasheri, 46 kilometers. How far is your home from school? Momun comes to school from very far. He first walks about 400 meters to the pond. With slippers in his hands, he then walks 150 meters through the pond. Next, he runs across the 350 meters wide green field. Then, he carefully crosses the 40 meters wide road to reach his school. Here on page number 20, the journey of Momun from his home to his school has been given. On the left side of the picture, his home has been drawn and in the centre part, a pond has been given. Next to it is a long green field. Then after comes the road and the last is his school. How much does Momun walk every day to reach school? Dash Is it more than one kilometre? Dash Page number 21 Find out how far your friends live from school and fill the table. Write in meters or kilometers. There is a table given here on page number 21. This table has two columns in it. The first column is titled Friends Name and the second column is titled Distance of Home from School. You have to ask your friends how far do they live from the school and write your answers in the table. You can write your answers in meters or kilometers. Who among you lives nearest to the school? Dash. Who lives farthest from the school? Dash. How many children live less than one kilometer away from your school? Dash. Is there anyone who lives more than five kilometers away from the school? How do they come to school? Dash. Guess and find out. 1. How long is the thread in a reel? 2. How long is the string of a kite reel? Can it be more than a kilometer long? 3. If a handkerchief is made out of a single thread, how long would that thread be? Children will get a good idea of one kilometer distance if it is possible to take them for a one kilometer walk, preferably along a straight path. Page number 22 On page number 22, there is a poem given here with the title, I Wish I Were. I wish I were a kite so that I could rise. Above this building's height. I wish I were a bird, so that I could fly and reach above that kite. I wish I were a cloud, so that I could move above those little birds. I wish I were a plane, so that I could rise above the clouds and the hills. Here, on page number 22, there is a picture given alongside the poem titled, I Wish I Were. In this picture, blue clouds and mountains are drawn. There is a large green field in which there is one house. A small child is flying a kite. 
there is a plane flying above the clouds and a bird flying above the house. Try to find out. 1. Which is the highest building that you have observed? About how many rooms high was it? 2. How high can a kite go? Can it go higher than the Qutub Minar? 3. How high can a plane fly? Can it fly higher than Mount Everest, which is about 9 kilometers high? 4. Have you ever observed clouds below you? It would be useful here to discuss about children's experiences, particularly when talking about clouds and their height, so that they get an intuitive feel of relative heights and can begin to estimate large distances. You were just listening to chapter number 2, titled Long and Short. With it, chapter 2 of total 14 chapters ends here. Voiceover artists Shalini Singh and Vebhav Srivastav. Sound recordists Butelang Lingdo and Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in production by Shanu Muksim and Meenakshi Kukreti. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. This book was presented to you by CIET, NCERT, New Delhi, India.